Well, there's nothing better than after a big win to see that little fist pump from Justin Wilcox. A 14-game losing streak against USC, officially in the rearview mirror, and the head coach joins us right now. Justin, appreciate you stopping by with us. Before you even talk football, happy birthday to you. That's awesome. It, I'm trying to figure out if the win against SC was a uh, an early birthday gift or a win against Stanford would be the actual birthday gift. Um, I kind of, you know, don't really celebrate those anymore. So I, I spent my, my birthday watching uh, Stanford 11 personnel. That was my birthday <laughs> gift. Watching film, spoken like a yeah. true coach. I can only imagine uh, really what was going down. You had a piece of cake when you were watching the film, right? There's like a little yeah, celebration. There was a little bit of cake. But uh, other than that, it was all first and second down for Stanford. <laughs> I feel a little bit better knowing that you had a little bit of cake uh, yeah, watch, it. during that film session. Coach, you know, I was watching the end of the SC game. I was watching the end of the UW game as well you're you're pretty even on the, on the sidelines I gotta tell you there's nothing cooler than seeing you do that fist pump are you actually thinking about that celebration yeah no uh, it's not really something I think about I think I'm just really excited for the team I mean the guys competed really hard and I know how much it means to everybody in our program and all of our fans and we're all competitive really competitive you know that's part of this game and so uh you know, once in a while you feel that emotion, but not not too often. Coach, put into perspective what your defense did in that second half. Obviously, the no points, the 40 total yards. You as a defensive-minded guy have to be thrilled by it. But I, because you live it, I'm sure you can appreciate it just a little bit different than some of the fans. So what was it like for you to see a dominant performance that you saw against SC? Yeah, I just thought, you know, I really was proud of their attitude coming out of halftime. You know, we hadn't done much in the first half in any phase, but uh, I thought the guys really competed and um, we were able to get them behind the chains a few times and, and get after them on third downs and guys made some plays. You know, we had some sacks and Travion Beck had the pick and, there, you know, we've had a couple big plays in there. So I think just everybody coming out and continuing to compete when, when things hadn't really gone our way, I thought that just said a lot about their character and our coaches did a fantastic job of, you know, pushing those guys through it and you know ended up uh, at the end of the day got it got ourselves a W but uh, had a lot to do with their you know the toughness and the resolve. Coach, been fortunate enough to be around some of your leaders the last uh, couple seasons, specifically when we were doing our show at Oregon State. Had an opportunity to talk to obviously Patrick Laird who is as mature as they come. Knowing the maturity on your football team, what's it actually like on the sidelines, not just against SC, but when things aren't going well for this football yeah. team? Yeah, and we've talked about that, you know, a lot, even in the offseason, just to, to stay in the game and work the game. And I think, uh, you know, when the guys come to the sidelines, even between series when things aren't going well, it's all about solving problems. And whether it's offense, defense, or special teams, you know, it's us as coaches uh, giving them solutions and those guys taking the feedback and then taking it back on the field and not getting too high with the high or low with the lows and continuing to fight and play. And, and I think they've done a really good job of that, and it's given us an opportunity to, you know, come out of some tough situations. Coach, bowl eligibility for this team, was that what was set out before the season in terms of that, that first initial goal? Yeah, that's, that's one of our goals as a team is to win a bowl game and, uh, you know, to, to become bowl eligible and um, to, to find a way to win down at the Coliseum against a really talented SC team who doesn't lose there often. I know it means a lot to our, our team and our program, uh, but now it's about finishing. And I think, you know, we talked about that and acknowledged how big that is to get bowl eligible. Uh, but it's, it's now on to Stanford and, and we know we got an unbelievable challenge this week and our guys want to finish. You mentioned this idea of finishing. I, I know you believe because you're the head coach and you have to set the table, but Washington, Washington State, one of the premier offenses uh, really in the country, not alone this conference, but you guys went toe-to-toe -to -toe with that team. SC, we know the talent that they have there. Do you walk in to every single, you know, you're watching film, you told me that's what you're doing on your birthday, but do you walk into every single Saturday matchup and go, our defense is so good that there's not a team in a country right now that, that we can't potentially slow down and stop and give ourselves, give ourselves a chance to win a game? Well, I think it's just the attitude of the team and kind of owning who we are and our identity as a team. Um, and so that's, that's everybody. And we have an unbelievable group of coaches who help prepare the guys. And our team practices really well. Um, you know, we haven't played perfect, obviously. But, you know, I think we know who we are and we know what kind of games are, are best for us and the type of game we need to play to, to win. And it's going to be no different this week. And I think our guys have confidence in who we are. Uh, they have a belief in what we're doing. And they know if we go out and, and play the game the way 
we need to play it, that we'll have an opportunity to win in the end. And, and uh, that's all we can ask for. And it really is a tribute to the guys on the team and the, and the coaches who are preparing them. And Coach, after the SC win, I had read uh, some quotes from you where you weren't even aware of the 14-game the losing streak against USC. Something tells me you might be a little bit more aware of the winning streak Stanford's on right now. They've won a consecutive in this big game matchup. This season's been about breaking some streaks for your team. What's it going to take to beat the Cardinal? Yeah, you know, and uh, they bring it up, you know, early in the week. They usually, <laughs> usually it's the media, so we appreciate it. But, you know, we talk to the team about it. It's, you know, we're not playing against a streak. We're not playing against the past. We're not playing against who was there last year or three years ago. It's all about this week's preparation and ultimately how we play the individual play. And, uh, you know, our guys know it's, it's uh, a great opponent. Stanford's done a, a great job for a long time, and I, the rivalry is a huge deal. And we appreciate the rivalry and the, the energy that brings to our stadium and our fans. And we want to use that energy uh, to focus on our job so we can play better and give ourselves a chance to win the game. And that's as long as we can do that, um, that's what matters the most. And so, again, the streaks and all that, we really don't even discuss. It's about practicing and what do we need to do well uh, to, to win the game. Coach, do you think about, and, and the answer I'm sure is probably no, but I'm thinking about it, so I'm going to ask you, but Got if it. you if you win the game, right? I mean, I saw the fist pump against UW. I saw it against SC. Like, how do you top that when it's a rival? Like, will you jump? Like, I'm just trying to figure out, like, the emotional yeah. Justin Wilcox on the sideline after a big game win. I think that's about as emotional as it gets right there. Uh, <laughs> You know, I, I haven't put much thought into that. You know, I, again, this is not the NFL where we, we do a lot of uh, celebration planning. Um, I'm just what I'll be really excited for is if we can get a, a great practice today and then I'll uh, I'll be excited about that. And then we got to do it tomorrow and then we'll see. Spoken like a true coach, and for what it's worth, I will make sure that our crew on Saturday has some sort of baked good for you, maybe with a candle in it. You can blow yeah. it out when the game's done. I'm not as sure how your crew feels about me, so I'd probably be a little skeptic, you know, skeptic about uh, <laughs> eating whatever you guys might bring, but maybe I'll give it away. Coach, the, the only person you need to be worried about is Yogi Roth. He's the only guy that you need to be worried about. Everyone, yeah, absolutely. Ev everyone else is a huge fan of yours. Yogi, okay. he's that one guy that you got to be careful of. Maybe even Coach Aliotti as well. Justin, appreciate you stopping by with us. Best of luck. It's been an awesome right. season so far. Stay healthy and take care of business on Saturday. I right, appreciate it. Go Bears.